Let's simplify the fraction 24 one hundredths. So what we want to do is find another fraction that's equivalent to 24 over 100. It has the same decimal value, it's just that we've reduced it to lowest terms. So to do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 24 and 100. So these are the factors for 24 and 100. So we're looking for a common factor between 24 and 100. We want the greatest common factor. As we look through here, it looks like 4 is going to be the greatest common factor. So we divide 24 by 4, 100 by 4, and we'll simplify 24 over 100. Let's move this over here. So 24 divided by 4 is 6, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So we end up with the fraction 6 25ths, and we can't reduce this any further. These are equivalent fractions. If you divide 6 by 25 or 24 by 100, you get the same answer. It's just that we've simplified or reduced 24 over 100 down to 6 over 25. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.